I'm going to take these bolts out for the torque converter right now. Uh, they are 12 millimeter. It's going to rotate to the edge of that. It'll stay there once you get there. Blocking your light, I realize it. Let me light over here. Try not to block it. Try not to drop these because I don't like fishing them out. They're not that long. I say that, which means I'll probably drop it. There's one. Now to get a 22 millimeter, I rotate the crankshaft here. Clockwise, just turn it. I try to keep it to this edge because when, when you try to loosen it, it's just going to push it back against that edge anyway. There's the second one. There should be there will, there'll be four of these. Okay, that's all our torque, torque converter bolts. Let me get a uh, platform jack underneath this, underneath the pan, and then we'll undo this strut, torque, strut, torque mount, whatever they call it, I don't know, limiter, whatever it is. 14. <laughs> Spin it on the other side. That's all I want, just to be able to do that. Bell housing bolts. Not a lot to see here. I'm just going to be, I think I can do them all from the top. I think there's two nuts at the bottom, one on either side, and then the rest are bolts. But I uh, believe we can do them all from up here and uh, just crack them loose first and then we'll just, we'll just back them out. We need the bolts, the remaining bolts on this side. Not going to be a lot to see. Kind of buried. Same as the other side, though. <clears throat> put my air conditioning bracket back on. Put this bracket that has the... Uh, I had to get that main uh, wiring harness connector off of. Just lost it on there. Came off, but it wasn't easy. Didn't, didn't like me too much, but... No big deal. I'm picking it up a little bit. Good. That's, I got to clear the, you got to pick it up enough to clear the studs that are in the motor mounts. So I got to look underneath and see how much. I don't think we're there yet, quite there yet. It's not that high, but you get to pick it up an inch or two. Let me see. Oh, just hit you. Probably can't see anything now. No, we're not there yet. Let me make sure you're still seeing something here. I know I hit you. Yeah, so a little more. Got to come up a little more. Bring my, get my jack on my transmission back up on the pan. Hold that up. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Close though. That's probably enough. Yep, out on that side. 
Check both sides. Check both mounts in case you're a little off center. Yep. It's clear by half an inch on each side on the studs. So now we should be able to start separating this. See how badly it's hung up or if I missed any bolts. I don't think I did though. Got a good spot here where I can just get it to separate. There it goes. There it goes. Got a little split going. Alright. Alright. That's what I wanted. Starting to move. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Should come apart. Not too hard. I mean, I get stuck together a little bit after 15 years. Yeah, it separated the bottom nicely here. Let's see the other side. It's starting to on this side as well. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. No, I didn't. Make sure you miss any bolts. I didn't need to break anything. Oh, it's just this. Uh, it's the dowel pin. You can see it's kind of uh, you want a dowel pin on the other side. You can see it's kind of rusty and it's probably hung up a little bit, but we'll get it. Let me get a pry bar. Move it around. Probably have pry bars. Side's open pretty good. This side's pretty sure it's hung up on my dowel pin. It's just not going to let go of it. I'm trying to. I don't really have any good spot. To... Tap it. <clears throat> Try to make it move. I'm not prime more. You can see it's kind of hung up on this side a little bit. Put it back together. But it is separating. It is separate. I can see it's separating all the way down to the bottom. It's this dowel pin that's right in the middle. It's really uh, causing an issue. It's just got a little bit of corrosion on it. And I gotta get it moving, that's all. <laughs> it's fighting me all the way. Uh, I can see, I mean, it's separated at the bottom. I had it separated at the top. It's stuck in the middle on that. On that there it goes. There it goes. That's what it was. It was a dowel pin. <clears throat> Loosen this side of it, so we'll go around the other side again, make sure that's loose. Oh yeah, everybody's loose, having fun. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Get some, a little bit of forward tension on it. Gotta be careful you don't want to smash it into the condenser. So I'm just trying, I'm trying to Shake it loose here. Keep wiggling it around. It's got to come up a little bit, I think. There it goes. Kind of pulled up a little crank, so you have to change the angle on it a little bit. And slide it, slide it out now. Pull forward a little bit. We got to clear the studs that are down the bottom. And you can see it's moving forward. I'm almost out all the way, but you just, just got to watch the condenser.
All right, I'm free. I'm out. My studs are out. We pick it up. It's gonna to want to go that way a little bit as I do this, probably. So I can move it a little farther forward. Bring it loose here. I'm losing my flow on the floor. Try not to do that. Just watch your condenser in the front. The loose free. Yeah, that looks good. Let me get my hose put that on there real quick. I'm just going to face it up so I'm not drooling corn all over the place. Come on. There we go. Face that up. cover there. <clears throat> Should be enough. Should be able to move this now. And just get it out from above the car and get it set up to get it on the stand. It's out. What major mishaps?